Hi, this is Anders. I just had some thoughts about why the scrolling direction reversal in Mac OS X Lion makes sense. One of the innovations of the windowing desktop revolution was the concept of scroll bars. Windows with content had scroll bars with a little scroll tab for when the content wouldn't fit in the window. When the tab was toward the top of the scroll bar, you were near the top of the content. To see more content, you grabbed the tab in the scroll bar and you moved it down, which caused the content in the window to scroll up. This made sense because you're manipulating a pointer for where you were in the content. I remember it taking me a little bit of time to get the idea of whatever direction I pulled that tab, the content would move in the other direction. Things worked great, except that it was always slightly inconvenient to have to go hunting for the tab uh, in the scroll bar just to move the content in the window. One help was that the size of the tab was altered to reflect the size of the content in the window. It made it a bigger target, but what truly set it free was the wheel mouse. That wheel was connected to the tab on the scroll bar no matter where your mouse was in the window, making content scrolling far more convenient. When you scrolled the wheel up, it moved the tab in the scroll bar up, making the content go down. All was well with the world for another dozen years. As laptops with trackpads became more popular, various incarnations of the scroll control were included. Some trackpads reserved space on the side for a scroll tracker, and, while, and uh, Apple included the two-finger scroll gesture right in the software. With all of these input methods, you were manipulating the tab in the scroll bar. If you push the tab up, the content will go down. It was a layer of abstraction causing the content to move in the opposite direction you move the input device. And then the iPhone struck. With minimal screen real estate, the scroll bars had to go. They still played an important role in determining how much content was in the view, but they only appeared in a translucent form when you actually scrolled the content. And the way you scrolled the content was you put your finger directly on it to manipulate the view. When you pushed up, the content moved up right along with your finger, as if your finger was actually touching the content. People instantly understood this because this is the way you manipulate objects in the real world. Having scroll bars there with a tab in it that you would have to use seems like a needless layer of abstraction. As Apple developed the gesture interface, they started to leak some of those ideas back into the Mac. A large percentage of Mac users had laptops with trackpads that were capable of multi-touch gesture support, so things like two-finger scrolling became popular. In fact, gestures became so popular that trackpads and mice with touch-sensitive tops were developed for desktops. However, there's a strict line between these desktop incarnations of scrolling and the scrolling in the direct manipulation devices like the iPhone and the iPad. And that line was the scroll bar. If there was a scroll bar with a tab in it, you're manipulating the tab, not the content. Because of this layer of abstraction, non-direct manipulation devices scroll the content in the opposite direction of the input. But without a scroll bar, you manipulate the content directly and therefore the content moves in the direction of the input. Practically, this has been something of an issue to get used to. With Apple's OS X Lion, the scroll bars are gone, and hence the scroll directions have been reversed. If, they were, if, if you were just arriving on the planet uh, for the first time and you sat down in front of a computer, this method would probably make the most sense. But if you've been used to manipulating the tab and scroll bars for the past 25 years, this change feels anything but natural. It's admittedly annoying and difficult to relearn the scrolling, but I suggest you do so as soon as possible. You can change the scrolling direction in the system preferences, which would have you turn off natural scrolling direction, but sooner or later you'll have to learn because eventually every device that doesn't permanently display scroll bars will use the new default.